a portable keyboard with 800 voices. Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out this. This, let me tilt it up a bit so you can see, is the Casio CTS500 Casio Tone portable keyboard. And as you might be able to see, it's not a full 88 keys, it's a 61 key keyboard, but it is a pretty amazing device because it comes with a ton of different voices. They call them tones, I call them voices. Literally 800 different voices. So you can have a regular piano. Turn the volume up a little bit so you can hear better. But you can spin the dial and you can get to any of literally hundreds and hundreds of different voices and tones. So, in fact, here's a block diagram of all the different voices that it has. And you can see there's over a hundred piano voices. So it's pretty amazing. It also has rhythms. Let's get... So you can go to rhythm and... Maybe we'll start with an introduction. I mean, <laughs> there are 243 different rhythms, and we'll just wrap this one up. This should spin down our little song here. And the thing is, there we go. So there's a lot you can do with this. It's really fun. There's just so much flexibility, and you go all the way from these pianos and other fairly traditional sounds to a lot of really pretty exotic sounds that you can have as like sound effects. I think you could use this and just like set up maybe the soundtrack to your movie or something. If you wanna do something where you're gaming and you wanna have all sorts of fun additional sound effects and stuff, it can do all of that too. In fact, it can sample and then it can use your samples or you could use your own voice as one of the tones. That's kind of crazy, right? Now, one of the other fun things that it does is it does the um, pitch bending. So, it's a little hard to play upside down. And there's a modulation wheel. So let's do that same chord. And I'm gonna turn up the modulation. So you can play with that exactly as you want. It actually has an editable digital signal processor and there are additional knobs K1 and K2 here and you can assign them to whatever you want. So if you want to have a background saw wave going on or something, you can figure that out and then you can use these to adjust that as you're playing. So really fun. So modulation, effects, filters, an audio sampler. It's a six track MIDI recorder. The display, you can see here in the middle, it's this big bright backlit display. And notice by the way, no wires, right? So one of the ways you can use this is there are six AA batteries that I put in the bottom and I can use that to actually play and have an extremely portable keyboard. Or of course, it comes with a power cord and transformer so you can use that instead. What else is here? Well, it also includes a little music stand that you can just hook on to the back and you can have that so you can read sheet music if you're a sheet music sort of person. And let's see, so stereo speakers and they're tuned to give you some nice bass. There's a surround sound option. I don't hear a lot of difference, but you might. Um, and there's also a headphones jack. And most importantly, there's a way you can plug it directly into your computer so you can actually record what you're playing with the best possible quality so that you can drop it into something like GarageBand and maybe do a 10, 15, 20 track composition, right? So all of that using this as the basis. So in fact, let me give you a couple of quick visual tours. First off, along the top on the front, you can see power and volume, super easy. All the knobs are super easy to understand. And then those are those K1 and K2 that are due with the digital signal processor, home, menu, surround, active DSP to turn that on. And then in the main display, 
you have that screen and then you have five sort of context sensitive buttons and the dial that lets you adjust things like what voice you want or what rhythm you want or if you're in a programming mode exactly what kind of result you want. And then on the top on the right you have tone, rhythm and registration as three different major functional areas and then the lower one is just for the tempo, is just for the rhythm so you have start, stop, tempo and the record button. Now here's a crazy thing is it can record 40,000 notes. So even you have <laughs> even if you're working on your grand symphony 40,000 notes is a lot of recording space. <laughs> and of course you don't have to use that. You could literally just feed it all to your computer or to some other device. So let's look at the back. Now the back is broken into two major sections. On the left micro USB that connect you to a host. You also have a USB 3 which is the rectangle to a device and that power in the DC 12 volts. And then on the right hand side is really where all the fun is. So you can see there's a headphones jack, there's an audio in so you can actually bring in a song off of your favorite Spotify playlist or something and then mix that and then play along easily done line out and you can see there's two different options for plugging a pedal into this it is not included you will have to acquire one and then I also have one more thing is I have this little gizmo and you're like hmm what's that well this is the WBT01 Bluetooth MIDI adapter and it's pretty interesting I'm not sure it's going to be something most people need but it lets you send and receive MIDI and receive Bluetooth audio. So you can plug this in to that USB connection over here and then you can actually have again maybe a musical source broadcasting Bluetooth, pair this, put this in here and then wirelessly you can have that music coming out of here as if it's a speaker but of course at the same time you're actually playing along. So really really interesting technology ideas. I'll come back and talk about the price of these two things momentarily. So this like I said can power off of six AA batteries or you can plug it into the wall and the, all the handy outputs notably includes a quarter inch plug so you can plug it straight into an amp. If you're in a band this is a solid option as long as you can handle the 61 keys. If you don't need the really high end and the really low end this gives you a lot of flexibility. In fact let's go switch to something else and again um, I just like that tone bending a lot. <laughs> It's really hard, like I said, to play upside down. Um, <laughs> give you some dimensions and then we're going to cut to a friend of mine who I actually had come over just so we could get a little bit more sophistication on the keyboard. So it's 36.6 inches long by 10 inches at its thickest and th I'm sorry it's 10 inches this way and 3.5 inches at its thickest and it's 10 pounds so it's not super light but given all the amazing technological capabilities this thing has I think that's a reasonable weight to be able to like tote it around. You can get a bag for it from Casio. You can get a stand for it. You can really set it up as part of your you know music composition tool set. Uh, you could have this in a dorm room or a small apartment or in your bedroom and then just plug it in and just start doing composing or playing or practicing or learning how to play. You can use headphones like I said. You can plug it into an amp. Lots and lots of flexibility. So having said all of that I'm not a very good piano player so I invited my friend to come over. So while he was playing I changed the voices. So let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Now I want to give Cassio a lot of credit because my friend who came over actually 
lost his piano as part of his house burning down. We had a huge fire here in Colorado, and my friend was one of the people who lost his home. He literally lost everything, including all his clothes. So Cassio was very generous in saying, oh, when you're done with the review, give it to your friend. We want him to have a keyboard so he can continue to play. So that's where this is going when I'm done. Thank you, Cassio. That was really generous of you. Now, we need to talk about price, but before we get to the price, I want to ask if you could subscribe to my channel, a click or a tap on that subscribe button, and we're connected. How easy is that? All right, cool. This is the Casio CTS500 Casiotone portable keyboard, and it is $379.99 at Casio.com. I think that's a great price for something with 800 different voices and 243 rhythms. That is a lot of options. If you multiply that all out and figure out how many variations you can do of the one song that you've been learning, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want to get into that Bluetooth and MIDI with this little adapter, this is the WBT-01 Bluetooth MIDI adapter, and it's $79.99 also at Casio.com. Like I said, I'm not sure this is something that most people are going to want or need, but it's a really interesting option if you're in a band or you want to be able to bring music into this device, either MIDI or just simple content via Bluetooth. Of course, there are tons of wires and plugs on the back, so you've got lots of options. But if you want to do wireless things, that gives you some really good choices too. So that's all I got. I'm not even going to play it because I'm not very good on piano, but I'm really impressed. This is a really great device, and it just gives you a massive amount of flexibility at a pretty darn reasonable price for a musical instrument that really is performance level. So I think this is something you should check out if you are a musician or you want to learn how to play piano, right? How fun. So that's all I got. I'll have to catch you in my next video.